Hi everyone, welcome to Last Minute Coders. My name is Vinay. Firstly, I would like to thank you all for subscribing to my channel. We are nearly 500 subscribers now. So thank you so much for that. Again, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon too, so you don't miss any upcoming notifications. In today's video, we are going to implement for loop in our Power App. So if you are from computer science background and you know any programming language so you know what a for loop is okay so see this is the for loop what this loop will do it will just iterate from 0 till 100 and it will just print the value see here is the output screen if I click on run so see 0 1 2 till 100 it will be numbers will be there so the same thing how we can implement in our canvas app so that is what we are going to learn today so let's head back to our canvas app so yeah so this is the editable canvas so first of all see this is a blank uh, canvas with us so we will just create one button okay so just create one button let me increase the size of this button i'll say implement for loop okay all right so here here see like this is c++ programming language so we have to save this number somewhere right so this number like here we have output okay output screen so here also we need to save the number somewhere for that what we need we need to have collection okay so what i'll say is i'll say clear uh collection i'll say my for loop okay anyways this collection is not yet present with us so it will it will throw me an error but let me just write this code clear collect and here i'll say the for my column name is like maybe id i'll give id and see the zero if i do something like this and if i click on this button now alt click see if i double click on this call for loop so see this it contain id 0 right and if i do like manually if i do something like this i'll say id 1 okay now see if i click up here and see double click on this so see this is a manual process how i can just implement this for loop okay inside our uh, canvas app so how we can do that for that we will utilize for all function okay but even if you utilize for all function how how we are going to implement this thing like this i equal to 0 i less than equal to 100 and i plus plus so for that what we will use we will use sequence function okay so we will use sequence function okay so what are the parameters of sequence so first one is record like what all record let's say if i give 100 up here okay and now i'll put comma here i'll say collect and just copy the name of this call for loop and here i'll say my id is equal uh, is what this record dot value okay let me format this let me increase the size of it so see previously what we were doing we were doing like manually okay zero one we did manually right now instead of this what i'll say is i'll just remove this remove this okay and firstly i am just clearing this collection okay firstly i'm just clearing this collection or best way you can do is you can do something like this do like this collect firstly create a collection okay then manually you can give like like this this is record right so item will be my id and just give something like this okay so firstly it will have only this record then it will clear and that then it will run this loop okay so see this time what will happen if i click on this button see i clicked on this button and now if i double click on my call for loop see from id 1 
टू थ्री फ्रॉम वन टू हंड्रेड इट विल कंटेन वैल्यूज राइट वट लेट अस से लाइक आई आई वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम जीरो सो हाउ आई कैन डू दैट ये जस्ट इन द सीक्वेंस सेकेंड पैरामीटर वेयर डू यू वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट इट विल से स्टार्ट फ्रॉम जीरो नाउ हाउ मेनी स्टेप लाइक ए स्टेप लाइक जीरो वन टू और जीरो टू फोर सो आई से जीरो वन टू थ्री लाइक लाइक दिस स्टेप शुड बी so the third parameter is like that now if i'll click up here in this button and double click on this and see this time it started starting from 0 and let's say it went till 99 so 100 time it will it will run from 0 to 99 total are 100 let's say if i do like two up here okay and if i click this time this double click up here so see this time it will be 0 to even numbers If I do something like this one, so it will be odd numbers. See up here, it will be odd numbers one, three, five, seven. Okay. Now you can by this by this loop you can make like a, a very very huge collection. Okay. So sometimes you need to test collection for like delegation function. So. you can quickly quickly create collection with this for for all a function okay and see if i click up here it will take some time and let's let's wait see it it did create it see it did created so many records okay so if you wanted to check like how many how many total elements are there in this collection for that what we will use okay we will use one label okay so this is our label inside of this label what i'll say is count rows count rows of what this collection goal uh, for a loop okay So see how many elements does it have? Let me increase the size of it. Okay, let me increase the size of it. Let me make it bolder. See, so I have ten thousand element in my this collection. Okay, and let's say what is what is the last value. I'll say what is what is the last value last in my call for loop dot id I'll say so I'll get the last value as well okay so see this is the last value nineteen thousand nine hundred and ninety nine okay so this is how you can quickly implement uh, for loop inside your power apps so I hope you like this video. and if you are again new to the channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button i'll see you in the next one till then take care goodbye